Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a review on the Sony Altfield One. Uh, there's a new range of Sony speakers released very recently. Uh, we've got the Altfield One, Altfield Seven, and the Alt Tower Ten. Uh, so I've got them all with me here at the moment. We're going to be doing a review on each one of them. Obviously, if you want me to compare either of them to anything else, do let me know. Um, but yeah, first up, we've got the Altfield One in front of us here. This retails for £120 straight off the Sony website at the moment. Um, I'll take you through some of the specs, show you around it. We'll do a bit of a sound test and I'll uh, let you know what I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, looks wise, we've got this. Firstly, obviously, you see this kind of uh, strap, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, decent quality as well. Kind of you can be adjusted or you can take it out to, to wrap it over something else. Uh, we've got the passive radiators on either side. Um, unfortunately no lights on this unit apart from the alt button on top um, so you've got yeah, power bluetooth standard kind of cool controls and then the alt button is very similar to the JBL party box um, bass boost feature where it's got like three settings so off then you've got alt one and alt two um, which is yeah again very similar to, the, to the, the settings where the first one is kind of just lowers it and the second one is trying to make it more punchy which does tend to affect the audio quality a little bit. So I'm going to leave it on one for this video. Um, around the back here, we've got a USB-C input for charging. No aux or anything here, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, quite a nice, well-built speaker, like nice kind of rubbery sides, which is good for portability. Um, as the name suggests, this is made for the field. Um, but yeah, that does mean you can kind of drop it, throw it about a bit, and it will it will take what you, what you throw at it, which is nice. Uh, we've got one woofer here, 83 by 42 mil woofer, um, obviously with those passive radiators either side, and you've got one tweeter, 16 mil tweeter. Um, frequency response range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is very good, actually. Um, the JBL kind of, um, you know, alternatives don't tend to go as low as it, this does on the 20 hertz side. They tend to go 30 or 40. So that you're, you're yeah, I mean, the so obviously Sony audio quality has always been very, very premium, um, more than you might expect. Um, but yeah, so that's 20 hertz, that low end uh, is, uh, yeah, really exciting to be able to test that. Um, also, battery life is very impressive. This will play at max volume for 12 hours. Um, 12 hours is a very standard time, but we normally see it at about 50% volume, which means you get maybe six hours at full volume, maybe four. Uh, but 12 hours at max volume from a speaker of this size, I can tell you that comes well above the JBL Flip 6. Um and, and anything else like the sound core, um, you know, anything else in this in this weight weight and size. So that's really impressive. Um, we're running Bluetooth 5.3 here. So that is the current kind of standard for Bluetooth. That is the newest version. Um, I think 5.2 and above is what we kind of consider standard now. Um, this weighs 650 grams. So nice and light. It can just be kind of thrown in your bag. You probably won't even notice it's there. And it is IP67 waterproof rating. So yeah, we do have that cap on the back, that flap on the back there. Um, so yeah, nice and rugged, nice design, nice materials. Overall, a really nice build. Um, specs are quite impressive as well. Uh, for £120, obviously direct competitor to the JBL Flip 6. Um, I don't have one of those with me here, unfortunately, at the moment. I do have like a Flip 3 or 4. If you want me to compare it to that, let me know. Although that obviously is, it might even be a 2, 2 or 3. Um, it's quite old and quite knackered, but um, uh, yeah, I can tell you right now that before we even do the sound test, that this is this is this is nicer sound quality than the JBL alternative. But we'll do the sound test anyway. Um, we playing uh, royalty at eighty percent volume. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs>
so yeah, sound test over. Um, yeah, like I said beforehand, I think this does. I know the JBL Flip 6 is a, is a year or two old now, so they'll probably be updating that soon. But I think this does come above that with the with the better battery life, the better low end on the frequency response, and the better Bluetooth version. Um, I think the bass is slightly stronger. The deep, like the deep end, is kind of definitely clearer, um, less distorted, less kind of crackly, um, and it yeah, it scales up really well as well. Nice volume on this. Um, overall, it's a very very good package. Um, probably one of the best portable speakers in this in this dimension and size at the moment. Um, so yeah, if you're up for something, you know, if you're looking for something new to 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 kind of fall into this uh, 100 120 odd pound market. Uh, something very portable then um, you're looking at one of the best right here definitely um, let me know if you've got any questions or anything you want me to compare it to or or expand upon um, but overall very solid not much to say really